Today's topic, malicious QR codes. Let's get started. For today, I recommend an article about malicious QR codes. I'm going to do this again, take 22, 23 <laughs> at this moment. So let's do this with the faults in it. Um, for viewers that don't know what a QR code is, a QR code is some sort of a, a barcode. It's a two dimensional block with some pixels in it. If you scan it with your smartphone uh, with, a, with a special application for it, you can scan the QR code and it will open your web browser and will take you to a page. You can find QR codes in the advertisement world, a lot of posters contain it. If people want to redirect you to their Facebook like page for example, um, they can put a QR code on the advertisement poster and then you will scan it with your phone. It will take you directly to the Facebook page and you can like the campaign for example or something like that. The recommended article for today is about the threats with scanning QR codes. Uh, at this moment a lot of software that is being used to scan QR codes doesn't have security embedded in it, which means that uh, there is no verifying if the link is uh, legit or if it's a malicious website. Uh, people, cyber criminals for example, can uh, misuse this technique to try to infect your smartphone, steal your passwords, install Trojans, etc. In the article, a comparison is being made between uh, end users that have the awareness that they will not click on links in malicious emails. I hope you have that um, awareness also, that uh, you can think twice or four times before you click on a link in an email that you don't trust. The same type of awareness needs to happen with scanning QR codes. Um, it also gives an overview of different attack factors. And, uh, uh, an example of an attack factor and you shouldn't do this at home just an educational thing but if you have a malicious website um, you can create a QR code simply by just uh, shorten the link with the Google URL shortener or the bit.ly URL shortener place the malicious QR code on a poster with some sort of uh, interesting advertisement on it spread your advertisement throughout a crowded place and let's see how many people will scan it I think a lot of people, if you have an interesting advertisement, well, if they scan it and you have a malicious page that tries to exploit vulnerabilities in the smartphone, well, you can, uh, for example, take over the phone, install interesting uh, software, etc. Going to um, <clears throat> place a link right here in the description. Um, if you want to read the article and the attack vectors and threats uh, on scanning QR codes, go to the webpage and uh, <laughs> um, read about it. And uh, the link is trusted, so it's not a malicious link. Um, that's it for today. It's the vlog going to wrap this up. A bit tired, long day. Um, last thing, uh, CIC collaboration project. Uh, have some people that have joined in and are helping with collecting news regarding cybercrime, cybersecurity, information security, hacking, etc. If you haven't joined in, please do. It's, uh, it can be a lot of uh, fun, it can be educational for yourself, you can learn a lot from it. It has some interesting articles from different people, so a lot of different levels and areas of expertise that you can find in it. And that's it for today, I'm going to do a new uh, recommended article for you tomorrow. 